With any film that I work on, one of the most difficult parts is deciding what makes a cut and what doesn't. In the short bus clip, there's a plane. In the short bus film, there were tons of clips that did not make the final cut, as well as some ridiculous clips that you guys would consider bloopers. And with a project of this scale, the editing process can get really tough. I mean, you're sitting in front of a screen for hours on end, day after day, and it can get very draining. But one of the things that helped me kind of get through this film and made it especially fun to edit was getting to watch back the ridiculous moments and all the ridiculous clips that we got along the way. And after it was all said and done, I knew I wanted to do something with all those clips. And with that being said, I bring to you the Short Bus Diaries blooper reel. It is Saturday, it is snowing, and we're about to go to the river. I ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> Can I see a place around here? Uh, I was traumatized by that baby on the yeah. Even my noise canceling headphones couldn't help me out with that one. I vote we just make Margs at the house. Okay. I have the technology. I'm drinking Margs driving the short bus all the way to Ash and Corn. He didn't mean that. If you're ever watching, he didn't mean that. This comes with the purchase of every short bus. You get a Shakespeare Durango. I figured you could sling some salmon flies with it this weekend. Yeah, dude. Is that, how does this work? Hey, this water is freezing just in case y'all didn't know that i don't think we have too much further to go um but it's been an interesting one to say the least the bird just said F your interview <laughs> you're um be cooking around a little bit kind of cook, cook around a little bit cook around yeah just oh so next up on our list are cheez it's um original is always the way that you want to go but if to me lately i've been getting the hot and spicy which i'm not i'm not they really seeing that if you were in utah they don't have anything that's hot and spicy I need to leave the state as soon as possible. They don't have hot and spicy cheese. It's I'm in the wrong area. I'm not There's right buffalo. Here. So in the way. <laughs> well, I'm you never in the way of it. <laughs> yeah. We're both trying to come out and you're staying there. Fing sick white fish right here. The fight was incredible. Like nothing I've ever had before. Better than a tarpon or a permit. <laughs> you can't film. Adam this. has two squirms and an egg on. <laughs> don't talk about it, okay? Best friend one to best friend two, over. <laughs> Best friend two to best friend one. Over. Where's your bullet That you're you're too drunk to understand. But <laughs> I get that. Is that a bullet hole? Please tell me that's a bullet hole. No, that's not a bullet hole. <laughs> that's definitely a bullet hole. He said that people throw beer bottles at it when it's parked on the road. It's interesting selection here. Wow. And that's Throw that out. That doesn't go in there. <laughs> we don't need that in there. Hey, if you drive a blue Audi in Salt Lake, I'm really sorry that I just cut you off, but Yeah, we're not gonna rob anything and then run from the cops in this. How key is that? Great. No, no, say it's key. It's key. No, say, say it like you're just saying it. Key. I don't know what that is, but yeah, that's it's key, I'm told. Just tell me it's much, it's much needed, like we're gonna need this, like. Dude. You gonna need a fan? We got a battery powered fan right here. You're not gonna kill the battery in the bus. We got fans. We're ready to roll. Just give a little. <laughs> Trying to be vicious here. Mm. <laughs> we got a big issue today. It's been snowing and been pretty wet. So we don't have anything dry to make our sandwiches on for lunch because obviously we're not gonna make them ahead of time because we're not that prepared. So we reach into our fly box and use our salmon flies, which we're not gonna get to use because it's snowing, and use those because they're still dry. These are the plates that we're making our sandwiches on today. It'll make it there one way or the other. <laughs> we got AAA, they we, take us We the made AAA it on the back of the wrecker, but sure. Hey, what's his address? Uh, that's our boat launch. <laughs> <laughs> Can you take us there? <laughs> I'll also need you to pick me up. <laughs> I'll see you later. <laughs> so Scotty got a little drunk and decided we should uh, deep fry cheese it. And uh, holy it's good. Yeah, we need more of it. <laughs> well, so last time we were here, we saw a uh, mama grizzly and a cub. We really weren't even very close to her. It's she she tried to square off with us while we were on the river. So uh, whenever we come here, we make sure we've got some bear spray. And I also keep a uh, keep a piece on me as well, just so that we can uh, shoot Scotty in the knee. And uh, you don't have to outrun the bear, you just have to outrun Scotty. Oh, Scotty's got a big old salmon fly in his hair. Look at that. Get on his mustache. <laughs> Dude, it looks just like your mustache. Where is he? 
<laughs> Don't put that in my face. So, bus prep is going pretty good. So, we've been just chilling on some margs here, just kind of discussing <laughs> what on margs, all we Are you doing a lot? Uh, me? No, I'm drinking a lot. My cameraman's been so good today, and he's just in love with these cheeses that I just uh, I just opened him up a cheese that I'm going to offer him as a sign of good faith. <laughs> there we go. Gotcha. Gotcha. I gotcha. <laughs> Does that just falls over as well? I felt like the Titanic scene there. Are you the king of the world? God damn it, Steven. What? <laughs> anything. Okay. <laughs> I, okay, I see your point. I didn't hear anything. Fair enough. I get what you mean now. Yeah, if Steven gets too drunk on the river, then he's going to get in the river tube. And we're going to strap him. We're just going to strap him to the boat. As we imagine, the gas mileage is awful. Maybe even a little awfuler than we expected. And I don't know how much I trust this fuel gauge. So I don't run a, I don't want to run it too low. If there's one thing Steven and I have done, it's run a truck out of gas on a fishing trip. And I don't want to have that happen in the short bus. Can you give a little backstory about where this bird came from? I really don't know, but he happened to be in the passenger seat of the car when we got back. I guess Steven Adam, he, he stumbled into uh, their boat and uh, happened to take a little ride with them down the river. We're gonna try to let him, let him go back, back to the wild. Nah, he's like, I wanna go back to that warm car. We'll even Pidgey too here. We could bring him tomorrow. I guess Adam had to come show me how to really release the bird. You just kind of pick him up and put him on the bridge. Uh, any... That's not science. <laughs> we came up with the idea. We're crushing up some sour cream and cheddar ruffles. Over here. This is gonna be our breading for a double fried wing. Isn't that a thing? Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a thing. Yeah. This is going to be a thing. Now we're just going to do a ruffles reduction on the top. My God, look at how nice that looks. This is going to be better than country fried steak. <laughs> so now that's just going right back down in the pot right here. Holy cow. That looks amazing. So this is a wing that has been dipped in some ranch dressing, then coated and breaded with ruffles. And then it's been deep fried to golden crispy perfection. His mouth is watering. Oh my goodness. <laughs> First thoughts? It's the best wing I've ever eaten in my life. <laughs> that sounds a lot. This man eats a lot. I don't really taste. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a weird. It's a weird thing because I feel like the potato left the ruffle, yeah, and it left behind some weird dust. I'm just in awe of what they put together and the fact that it doesn't actually taste that great just makes it that much more hilarious. <laughs> so apparently it's that bad that Adam is now pouring Tabasco in his mouth to get rid of the taste of the wing. And then this folds over, over to that side, and then and then you futon. I'm tracking. It's a weird thing, sorry. It was $25, leave it alone. We've got some blue line micro swivels for dessert. Quantity, I don't know. Size, nano, inspected by me. When you own your own fly company, you can just steal from it and that's what i do it's called uh, marking out product for testing not stealing it's we, called research and development we, we've had this talk we have to phrase it correctly on film r d right. experimentation not stealing oh, wow hopefully that yeti's closed the windshield wiper on the driver's side doesn't really work which is not ideal. We didn't think it was gonna work, but uh, we hit a little bit of a rainstorm and I couldn't see shit. So we uh, we tinkered with it a little bit and now it's working. Uh, engaging warp drive now. <laughs> I'm gonna feel like I'm the, in the Blair Witch Project. Getting the kinks out. <laughs> had to relearn how to mend, so. I still don't know how to. Give me an eight weight and some sink tip. I, you know, I'll catch a squirrel or two, give me uh, like a six weight with a little dry drop set up there and you know i might end up hooking my partner's eye all right so uh we did unfortunately have a casualty today uh one of our rods took a little bit of a beating but i wanted to tell you guys a quick story this is not the first time that this rod is broken i purchased this rod from winston came in and uh had never even fished it but i take it out with steven he catches a couple fish on it and then breaks it on a gar setting really the hook it was a really big gar it was a really big gar well then i don't really even know if i've used this rod much since then today he breaks it while he's streamer fishing he gets hung up and then some line gets wrapped around the rod one thing leads to another and it breaks there were some coordination issues with the uh with the rower in my defense sure so he's used it more than i have and broken it twice and i think i've only caught like four fish on this rod total can i say one thing though please 
That, that rod fishes very well. <laughs> <laughs> I really enjoy using it. I can't wait till I break it again. <laughs> I'm looking forward to breaking it again. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. We'll, we'll break, break again. again. Give me a pro deal already. I'll buy my own. <laughs> So the bus is running good, not running hot. A little over 180. Yeah. Uh, speedometer, is, has the speedometer been working? <laughs> yep, 55. Good. Unless it's just glued at 55 and doesn't move. All right. Well, it is the magic yeah. school bus. It could just be glued at 420. Yeah, it could. We're uh, coming up on Rigby. Oh, all right. Y'all are not, y'all aren't that far ahead of us. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, we'll see. We'll see y'all soon. All right. <laughs> all right bye. I'll see ya.